we were asked to find each difference. Looking at each difference, notice how we have a common denominator. To subtract fractions with a common denominator, we subtract the numerators and simplify if possible. If we have a over c minus b over c, this is equal to the quantity a minus b over c. Notice how the denominator remains the same and we subtract the numerators. For a we have negative nine over x minus seven over x. Because this first fraction is negative, to keep track of the negative sign, we will move the negative sign into the numerator and write this as negative nine over x minus seven over x. The denominator remains x and we subtract the numerators, which gives us negative nine minus seven. Negative nine minus seven is equal to negative 16. The difference is negative 16 over x. Remember negative nine minus seven is equal to negative nine plus negative seven, which equals negative 16. And this fraction does not simplify. For b, we have five tenths minus c over 10. We have a common denominator. The denominator remains 10. And now we subtract the numerators, which gives us five minus c. We need to be careful here because it might be tempting to try to simplify the five and the 10, but we cannot do this because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. And therefore this is the difference and this fraction is in simplest form. Let's look at C on the next slide. For C we have two fifths minus four fifths minus three fifths. We have a common denominator. The denominator remains five and we subtract the numerators, which gives us two minus four minus three. Two minus four is equal to negative two. Negative two minus three is equal to negative five. This gives us negative five over five. If the subtraction is difficult, we can write this as a sum. Two minus four minus three is equivalent to two plus negative four plus negative three, which is negative five. But this fraction does simplify. Remember a fraction bar means division. This is equivalent to negative five divided by five, which equals negative one. Negative one is a simplified difference. Or we can also show this simplifying like we normally do. The numerator and denominator share a common factor of five. Five divided by five simplifies to one, but we still have this negative sign here, giving us negative one. I hope you found this helpful.